as soon as it popped up. So you guys enjoyed the Necronomicon video, huh? It only makes sense. It only makes sense. Spend a whole lifetime studying the Bible only to find out it contains some really wicked shit. Then if we're gonna... If we're going to be fair, then we need to look at some of the occult material too to see if there's kernels of truth in there. And there is. One thing that I should have put in that in that Necronomicon video, and I, I'm guilty of moving too fast. I had 24 hours before I put that video together. I didn't have a clue. I've never, I have never even hinted to you guys that I was ever going to do a Necronomicon video. But I can't, when I'm hit, when I am hit by inspiration, I follow it. Unfortunately, the video's good, but it's missing a key element I should have mentioned. It's, uh, these ancient texts, like the Enuma Elish, that the Necronomicon, that H.P. Lovecraft was employing, um, uh, the key focus of those texts is the, their origin, where those texts were venerated. They were venerated in ancient Babylon. Babylon specifically means, in, in Old Semitic, gate of God. That's a very key, that, that's something very pertinent to include in that. It's almost like ancient misdirection. Let's go tear up the Near East looking for this gate. That gate was never in Babylon. There was never a, a gate in Babylon. All that Stargate crap about something being found in the Iraqi war in Babylon, that's all boy, that's all BS. The the whole circular gate deals that, that, that people say they've been found around the world that are Stargates and all that, I'm not believing any of that. It's all misdirection. The real gate has never been lost. It's always been sitting in an empty desert, half buried in Egypt for 5,000 years, built before we ever had any literacy. There are no human writings about the construction of, of the Great Pyramid for a reason. It was built before, right, just, just before literacy exploded, the Great Pyramid was there. But it's, but it's mentioned in hundreds of traditions, but it's mentioned by the frames of reference employed by the cultures that were recording it. And that's why we have, that's why, that's why if you really, if you really have a hard time following a lot of my material in the Archaics videos, you should really read Lost Scriptures of Giza, my very first published book. I hate to sound like I'm a salesman. I, I rarely push my books. I mean, I have some really good books that are packed with data. I don't try to force them on you guys. I have a huge book uh, you can get on Amazon called uh, uh, Shocking Secrets of Antiquity. All about mud floods, ancient cataclysm, cataclysm protocols, all kinds of stuff. It's a giant book. I just don't push these things, man, because I'm, I'm not a salesman. I'm, I, I'm not even a good marketer. I'm just, I put the material out and I throw it into the wind and it's going to get to where it needs to get. I'm pretty sure. So, or I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be influenced to do, to do all this. So I'm, I'm all, I mean, my Amazon books, you'll see, you'll see some links tonight. Square Peg Divergent will be posting some things. Uh, Jen, she'll be posting some things uh, as a moderator in the group. But, but yeah, I just, I should have added that element about Babylon because Babylon is very important in the Necronomicon. And Babylon's, ba Babylon is Babili. Babili means gate of God. So, yeah. It's all misdirection.